Hey guys, Lee H here, aka Criterium Racer. I was down in Denver this past last weekend, and I stopped by my non-sport trading card pack store, picked up these two. I thought I didn't have, but I probably do have a nice Deucey Hazard sticker one, um, distributed by Don Ross. It is a fun little store. I was down in Denver to go see the Peter Hook show. If you're not familiar with him, he was the basis and a lot of creativity of Joy Division and New Order. Uh, he played the Substance album uh, with his own little twists on it. Um, the Substance album by New Order was probably the album I played the most in high school. Yes, I was that kind of loser. Let's open a couple little bit of mail here, and then we're on to probably opening some baseball. First up. We got some generic baseball. That's not going to be it. Let's see what we got in the middle. Oh, uh, yeah. We got another autograph. It was dirt cheap. I think it was under 10 bucks after it shipped. We're looking at Carney Wilson from Wilson Phillips. Um, I don't believe this is numbered. If it is, who cares? Truthfully, I was looking for the um, Ch China Phillips, the, the blonde hair girl from them, because, you know, I pick up cards. Um that I had crushes on when I was younger, let's be honest. Um, but China Wilson's a little bit harder to find. So, but it's going to be a nice little pick up there. Let's, I found this um, envelope while I was cleaning. So this may have been sitting around for a while. Maybe I'll look at the date. It's in a plain white envelope for nothing probably too exciting. And another Eddie Matthews. And we're on to a box here. I'm going to do this off camera because I always wreck the... Um, <coughs> What do you call it? It feels really, really light here. All right. And it is a single card. Wow. This, I don't, this is overkill, that giant box for this. So the nearest movie theater I had when I was in high school that actually showed current ones was in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Yeah, she Vegas. And this is not even in a holder. It's in a horrible plastic bag. And the biggest thing to come out of Sheboygan, Wisconsin, was the Cordettes. Um, I'm searching for this card, and I didn't want to pay as much as what they usually go for. Uh, this is from 1959, printed in Holland, but I believe this is actually um, Canadian. Something maple set, maple leaf set from 59. They're known for lollipop, lollipop, la -la -la lollipop. And um, they were also featured in the um, movie Back to the Future and for a few of their songs, um, Barbershop Quartet. Uh, let's see what else. Um, anyways, uh, this was um, basically all the cards is completed. I have PSAs and just about all the other quartet cards out there. So that's a nice little sweet addition to my collection of vintage cards. And since Devin Williams blew the Brewers' chance to go further in the playoffs, I thought I'd open 2020 update, which the only decent card was the Devin Williams. Uh, <laughs> as you know, I am pretty much a... This channel has almost become into a non-sport card, along with Eddie Matthews and a few other vintage. But I do... Go to quite a few games and follow baseball pretty religiously. So let's open a couple little packs here. Joey Votto. Hall of Fame, maybe not. Ortiz here. Granky. And we got the killer of the Brewers here. Um, we got the big, big meat Pete Alonzo. Shout out to Milo at Trading Cards right there. Jordan Alvarez, I was cleaning up, I found a few of those exact same cards, Grundle, and I forgot, and that should be it for first pack, maybe I won't put you through the torture of all of this, but it's always fun to rip into some cards, I do rip into cards on my own, <clears throat> Clayton Kershaw, he stopped by my work, one of the nicest guys, um, bought the staff pizza and beer and all that for all the guys at work, which was really nice. Um, he was in town for the all-star game. He was injured, so he didn't play. Um, yeah. So, that was really nice of him. I 
Another peel on. So, so they're just rubbing this into my face for the love of God. <laughs> With that dinger that he hit last night. <laughs> oh, I like that car. That was a, I don't remember seeing that one. Rendon. And we got Tyler Wade. And we got a Jeter. Yep. So another Pete Alonzo. Should we go for another Pete Alonzo out of here? We see a Christian Yelich on the back, but this is getting Garrett Richards. And we got a nice little Trout as an active leader. We can't go uh, <laughs> up Carney Wilson there. Edward Encarnacion. And most of these guys probably. Brendan McKay, I know, was a hot rookie back in this set came out. I haven't followed up on him. I'm sure I got some of his rookie cards and top loaded and stuck away. I should probably go back through some of those old rookie cards, you know, from these four years ago stuff. Like Lewis Roberts and maybe pull them out of the top loaders. I like Roberts. I did. Do, do, do. And we're down to a couple little packs here and we'll get the bonus pack. Little Bryce Harper action. And I'll go back over this and play with it. Bo Bichette, rookie debut. Underrated player in my um my Dylan Carlson, one of the nicer cars out of there. I always like this design. And <clears throat> we got another Alvarez into Turkey. Oh, Kidoki, last pack, plus one exclusive player coin inside. Ooh. Didn't like that one, but. And Glaber Torres, Mookie, Bregman, Wait, Wilhelm, McCovey. I sold out of five for him for pretty cheap lately on eBay. Started listing a few cards on eBay, that stuff that I just on PC that I have accrued. Probably should do a lot more, but it's really not worth my time unless it's 10 bucks and over. It's. And we got Nico Horner rookie card. All right, guys. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate each and every single one of you for stopping on by. And until next time, we'll catch you later.